Teach me how to wait. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. He cares for us. He dies for us. Hallelujah. Let us give him some praise in the house. Jesus. So it's a Paul. Yes. Reaches the finishing line. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Right. And Paul began to give his victory speech. Uh oh. Yes. Didn't he Paul give his victory speech? A yes. fought. A good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Oh gosh. Give him victory speech. Yes. And his victory speech was given to the heroes of faith. Yes. Uh oh. You hear me say? As a power has given the victory speech to heroes of faith. According to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. We have foreseen we are all so compassed about with so great a crowd of witnesses. And that's who he was giving his victory speech to. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does is about us. And let us run with patience. The race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the heart and the finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Oh gosh, and you see, things say it was rough, but him said it was a joy doing it for you. My God. I say, Christ, we look at the race and the cross, how cruel it was. But Jesus looked upon to that joy, doing it for you. Yes. Despising the shame, mm. set down the right hand on the throne of God. Yes. For consider him and your such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest he be wearied and faint in your mind. Yes. This speech has spiritual logics in it. It's a sins we have. Such a huge crowd of men are men of faith. A human watching us from the grandstand. Let us strip off anything that slows us down or hold us back. Especially this thing that wrap themselves around our foot to trip us. To trip us over. Let us run with patience this particular race that God set before us. He said, keep your eyes on Christ. Yes. Jesus, keep your eyes on Christ, my friends. Keep your eyes on Christ. Yes. Keep your eyes on the instructor. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Every time I look on the choir singing. Yeah, ma'am, I have to look on the choir singing. And some people still get wrapped up when they close their eyes. Getting down into the song, ignoring the choir director. Uh oh. Ay, 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 ay. Choir director trying to get your attention. But you close your eyes into the song. And quiet the band. Go to the right, go to the right. Go to the right. But you know, not just. We like that, about it now. Can we talk about it? You might do better. Yes, but, <laughs> hey! Mm. Yes, Open your eyes. You're going to hide from the choir director today because. No, sir, that's okay. I'm going to from the choir there. No, sir, that's okay. You don't have to worry about me because <laughs> me and Mr. Lewis here with me. All right. Yeah, man. And we have your brother here too. Amen. And so I'm going to go wish for them there. Amen. Like, uh, they were my big brother today. All right. All right. <laughs> But no, no, serious. Me no choir. I, I the church I used to go to a long time ago. Robert Double Armstrong Ministries. And the choir director. Of the directing. When you look and see two somebody get down and stay. Stop the music. 
I am the director. If I say go left, you go left. If you can't go left, come off. I'm going to make a mistake and tell the evangelist, say, they won't hear you. Run them off of the choir. But she afraid of them, so she didn't do it. So I said to her, say, can I have a meeting with your choir? And I come and I say what I have to say. And make sure I let before they do. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. My fear of people gone a long time. From here two years, three, four, five years old, me afraid of nobody. Only person I'm afraid of my mother and my father. Come on, you lick the lick too hard. <laughs> Gosh. Praise the Lord. Choir director said move right. But the band now watch her. Because she don't take no authority. Can I say that? <laughs> she don't take the authority if you say stop the music. Look at me. I bet you do one time and stop. Because when I stop, you say, hit the road, Jack, and don't come back no more. No. Praise the Lord. Let me get back to the message. Yeah. Let me get, me get too far away from the message. Mm. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Look into his wonderful face. Mm -hmm. Look how he, he was willing to die for you. Don't close your eyes on him. Look. Look. Look on your eyes. The heart and the finish of your feet. Keep your eyes on him. Oh gosh. Because he was willing to die a shameful death for you on the cross. On the cross, he took your course. Because you're cursing. People curse him. People mock him. But he's still right there to make you free. He did it with joy in his heart, knowing the aftermath. What do you mean? If you really look into us, heaven, nothing can detour you. No matter how they curse you, that's a bad thing about you, you're looking unto heaven. You're looking into the heart and the finish of your faith. Sometimes you allow pride to get the best of you, and when they curse you out, you cry. Yeah. They're supposed to curse you out so you can grow in Christ. Right so when they curse you, just jump for joy. Jump for joy. Yes. He drink and be merry. Yes. And let me tell you something. Yes. When you become a Christ, a candidate for Christ, yes. watch out. Yes. If your best friend will turn your back on you. Yes. Yes. Amen. One person said, but we still live nice and enjoy the liquor. And now we can have a liquor with you. Because God took the tears from me. My last beer was 1982. And the bride from stopped before that. And the weed stopped long before that. Oh yes. I said, love my weed, man. Before me get saved. Mm. And one day, me just take out the big Bob Marley script. And pass the young man said, so take this and take this too. He said, what? He said, stop. Yeah. Here, have it. That was it. Oh my God. Never God put them out good. again. That's right. Not even in the water. God is good. Yes. Yeah, I drink tea too. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. One guy, you know, remember he used to work together. I said, man, if you drink the tea, you, you never go back to smoking the weed again. So go on and put a little bit too much in the water. Yeah, you. And say, man, this thing give you a longer. Man, I'm gonna start drinking the tea now, man. This thing keep me longer. <laughs> I say, all right, young man. But uh, that's what I'm in the world, though, you know. You get saved in 1982, so all that was before that. And God kept me, so I wouldn't let go. That's right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yes. 
And so in 1982, I took my last beer. And I want to be truthful to you, you know. I said, I never drink something, you know. But I'm going ginger wine, I drink. I'm not drinking nothing but ginger wine. And when I put ginger wine, I put a whole bunch of drink in it. You just love the taste of the ginger. All right? And of the liquor. Some of you are saying, I didn't lick a pass. No, no, oh. you are lick a butt for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you get it. You know, I'm not going to say to nobody, I'm going to pass a drink. No, man. Ginger wine. And put water or something in it. Then just have the taste. Praise the Lord. But Christ was willing to die for you. Yes. And do it in spite of the shame and everything. And just do it with joy. Why? Because he keep my eyes on the prize. Yes, amen. You know that after this, something great can happen. The Bible says, the Father put him at his right hand to sit. Yes. And then we are with him in our spiritual places. Yes, sir. Yes. Wherever he sits, we are dealing with him. Yes. Why? Because it's we in the spirit. Yes. Not the natural man. He can't go nowhere but which way you're there. Yes. But the spirit man can go everywhere. Yes. Because the spirit in you is God's spirit, all right? But he was willing to die a shameful death just for you. Praise the Lord. And so when you look into this race, you see that the way you live, it has a lot of things to do with it. You must be godly the way you live. Because Jesus did the job for you. Why? So you could be saved. No, your way of life must be based upon what Jesus did. Jesus did finish the race just for you. Yes. And he's at this finishing line waiting on you yes, to do the victory lap. Yes, he's, at the, he's at the line waiting to welcome you Hallelujah. after the victory lap. Yes. You need to finish the course like Paul did. Yes. So you can say, mm -hmm. I did the victory lap. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Your heroes of faith, I made it. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. And my mama, my papa, and my sister, my brother, all of them, they're, 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 they're in the audience. Yes, sir. They're, 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 they're sitting in the. In, 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 uh, cheer me on. Come on, man, you can do it, I know you can do it. And I'm running around with my flag, doing the victory lap and waving. What Christ did for me. You have to do it with pride. Yes, true. If you think you just have to do it because of so and so, no, you won't make it. No. Keep your eyes on the way that the people mention in, in, in Hebrew 11. Look at them. Look how they live. Yes. Look how these heroes of faith live. And let me tell you something. It wasn't easy for them, you know. Them don't have instant coffee. Then they have a aeroplane. Then they have TV. As a matter of fact, maybe they have an iPhone fork. Yet, their life is an example, the pattern to follow. You have, you have all these things. Instant this and instant that. When they go from Chicago uh -huh. to California, take them days by a donkey cart. Yes. Now you have Europe playing the jump and a couple of hours you wish. Yes, sir. And you still don't want to live the life to please God. But I'm telling to you, keep your eyes on Jesus. Yes. Remember, he sacrificed his life for you. Why? Well, so you could be free. You and I need to be like our master, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He kept his eyes on the coming glory. Yes. He did his part, so you need to do your part. Amen. He ran the race, Amen. even this grace. Uh -huh. Now you are called upon to show others that they don't need to run the race again. Uh -huh. All they need to do is do the victory lap. 
every one of us must accept the race and its finality. Yes. We must bear in mind that God will not accept us running the race again. He just need for you to appreciate what Christ did for you and run the victory lap. Run it with pride. Yes. Show not as that we believe in Jesus. Yes. Who run the race. Yes. Are ready for us and win. Hallelujah. And we believe in him. Yes. So we got to run the victory lap for him. Right. It's a partnership. Yes. Him go to the cross. You don't have to go there again. Right. Oh gosh. Yes. Glory. Hallelujah. This race. Yes. I don't carry this grace enough. Yes. Christ run it with joy. Because he kept his eyes on the coming glory. Hallelujah. Which was to come. I want you to keep your eyes, keep, keep your attention on what I'm saying. Just keep your attention on what you hear me say. Yes. And, and look at the picture I'm painting. You see here? Yes, sir. Hebrew 12 and verse 3 says, For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest he be weary and faint in your mind. Right. So keep your eyes on Christ, otherwise you will get weary. Right. Yeah, man. Mm. So I look on people and what they have. Mm. Right. Boys.